Alright, so for this video, I'm going to be solving the problem 2 to the power of 16 minus 9. So, I want to find the value of this exponential problem. So, for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my problem down here so I have a little more solving space. So, I have 2 to the power of 16 minus 9. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite 2 to the power of 16 as 2 to the power of 8 times 2. And the reason I did this is because if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 8 times 2 is going to equal 2 to the power of 8 to the power of 2. And I have this minus 9. And now 9, I can rewrite this as 3 to the power of 2. So I get 2 to the power of 8 to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2. Now, the reason I did all of this is because I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Notice how we have a number squared minus another number squared. Now the only thing that would make this simpler is if we solve for 2 to the power of 8. So 2 to the power of 8 this is equal to 2 times 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 2. So 2 multiplied by itself 8 times. Now, this can also be written as 2 squared times 2 squared times 2 squared times 2 squared. So 2 squared multiplied by itself 4 times. And this can also be written as 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 4. Now, 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. So I get 16 times 16. And 16 times 16 is equal to 256. Now from here, I'm going to plug this back in. So I get 256 squared minus 3 squared. And now, I can more properly use this property. So this turns into 256 plus 3 times 256 minus 3. So 256 plus 3 is going to equal 259. And 256 minus 3 is equal to 253. So I get 259 times 253. And now what most people would do to solve this is multiply this the normal way. And this is not the best way to actually solve this because it takes long and it's really easy to make an error. So a better way of doing this is reading, rewriting 259 as 200 plus 59 and 253 as 200 plus 53. So now, with this, I can solve by distribution. So I can distribute 200, so I get 200 squared plus 200 times 53, plus I can distribute 59, 59 times 200 plus 59 times 53. Now, 200 squared is going to be 40,000, and now I have this plus 10,600 plus 11,800 plus 3,127. And now if I add all of these up, I get 65,527.